Hi and welcome to another Decred news update. The Decred chain has successfully forked to Blake 3 and is now being mined by CPUs and not ASICs. It took almost three days for the chain to start producing new blocks after this consensus change. This was because of the massive difference in difficulty, with the hash rate dropping enormously as the chain was no longer mined by ASICs. CPU miners in the Decred community came through and now new blocks are being produced with a target goal of every five minutes. As the hash rate jumps around, some blocks are being produced under the target and some over. Eventually, it will settle. Support for GPU mining was also just released for GoMiner, so GPUs are now starting to mine Decred. Furthermore, the block reward subsidy has changed. The proof of stake reward is now at 89% with each voting ticket giving a reward of 1.53 Decred and only 1% of the block reward is going to proof of work, with only $1 going to miners every block. 10% of the block reward is still allocated to Decred's treasury, which funds the DAO. This is a huge update for the Decred protocol. Remember, the whole point of Decred is the community can come together to vote to change the protocol, whether it be an upgrade or a course correction. Now let's look at development updates. For DCR Wallet, there are some improvements related to purchasing tickets through a VSP including fixing broken retrieving logic for errored VSP ticket purchases, fixing a bug where the fee payment status check could be unreasonably delayed, now the user wallet will update sooner, and requiring VSP clients to wait for the VSP to confirm fee payments before considering a VSP ticket fully purchased. On Decred's wallet to Crediton, ledger backend functions and user interface were added, and the French and Chinese translations were updated. User Norwind proposed a two-factor authentication storage for Decrediton, based on simple 2 of 2 multisig. The idea is to provide a more secure solution for storing Decred by using a second device to sign transactions. This should protect from threats like a weak wallet encryption password or a stolen laptop. As a bonus, it could make multi-sig features more accessible to regular users who don't have skills to program a multi-sig solution themselves. It is currently an early discussion and feedback phase. On Decred's Lightning Network, there were improvements to the tracking of closed channels. It had been observed on Decred's Lightning Network mainnet that some channels have been closed on-chain that are still being announced to the network. For DCRD, which is Decred's full node implementation, updated the get block and get block header commands to show the new proof of work hash, added a new linter and addressed some linter complaints. DCRDEX is a non custodial, privacy respecting exchange for trustless trading, powered by atomic swaps. Some fixes are coming in the next release. On the server side, there is an increase in order limits as users lock more funds in bonds, along with ensuring the server is aware that the client has completed the trade. In certain cases, the client would fail to inform the server of a completed match, which would negatively affect an account's reputation. Updated various dependencies to fix crashes in the built-in Bitcoin wallet. Other updates coming are improved app setup flow. After setting up an app password, the user will be shown a quick configuration page that allows users to enable DEX servers and select which wallets to activate. Disallow making transactions if the wallet is not synced and has no peers to sync from. This avoids transactions that never get mined and confuse users. Fixed misleading action required to trade startup messages, asking the user to add more bonds. Fixed a bug where green triangle markers for own orders were not always shown on the depth chart. Implemented a function to place multiple orders in one go for Decred, Ethereum, and Ethereum token wallets. This will be used by the market making bots and may unlock trading optimizations. Fixed a bug in Bitcoin coin selection logic, added fiat values to the Ethereum token approval form, and there were some test code improvements and code refactoring. There are a number of things that are a work in progress, including the foundations for Decred staking, Polygon infrastructure work including USDC swap contracts, Dash full node wallet support, Vero Electrum light wallet support, and balance management for market making bots. For DCR data, the new Blake 3 proof of work hash has been added to the block details page. Bison Relay is a peer to peer communications platform running on Decred's Lightning Network. Bison Relay version 0.1.8 has arrived, and with it are a number of improvements. Notifications are now shown in the sidebar for both new chat and new posts or new comments. These notifications are shown until the content has been viewed. Chat areas have been improved for scrolling and various other quirks with input entry. Hopefully this should reduce strange scroll bounces and issues with inputting while actively receiving messages. The feed is now being sorted by latest activity. Whatever is the most recent comment or post will be shown at the top. 
The comment areas below all posts have been improved and refined to allow for more easy thread and comment tracking and conversations. Chat lists have been improved to be more collapsible and buttons are now in more streamlined locations. There are now also embedded pictures in the post screen. The developers have also added an address book feature. Now chats will only be populated in the chats list if there is some sort of history for that chat. The user may also hide the chat and remove it from the list if they'd like. For the Bison Relay command line client, there is now content filtering done with slash filters, basic backups done with slash backup, and simple stores for selling digital files. On the GUI wallet, there is also a new pages tab, though it is unpopulated as of right now. The command line also fetches rates from Bittrex as well as DCR data. Chat history is now loaded when opening a chat window in the client. Currently, the last 500 lines from the logs is loaded. Developers are considering allowing users to control this number. They've also made major strides in getting mobile builds working. The backend code has been updated to work with Go Mobile, which will allow for the DCR LND and client code to work on mobile platforms. And now let's look at some community media. The German language crypto news site BTC Echo published their first sponsored Decred article, paid for by the Decred DAO. MonPR secured some media placements for Decred, including an article on BN Crypto, talking about the Brazilian elections, and how blockchains can be used to expose fake news. Furthermore, CryptoNews.com, Currency Analysts, and Coindesk covered the Bison Relay version 0.1.8 release, highlighting the new Simple Stores e-commerce feature. Decred lead developer Dave Collins was interviewed about Decred's new consensus changes and what to expect. So when the profitability goes up, your incentive, of course, to mine more goes up, or in other words, to add hash power to the network. And that leads to more participants. And then similarly, once more people show up to mine, there's more hash power shows up. But now you have more competition. Because you have more competition, the profitability should reduce accordingly. But obviously, in Decred, that hasn't happened at all because the, the PAL side, the proof of work side simply isn't working properly. And that's because there's a monopoly. And, and so breaking all the ASICs is going to, to break up that monopoly. It's pretty clear to me that it, it really, all the theory around ASICs and the way that things should work, in theory, it sounds great. It clearly doesn't work that way. Let's do it. So Decred is all about evolution and uh, getting better over time. My question is, what new development features or ideas uh, do you think are going to come Decred's way? Dex, I think that one of the big things that we'd like to get there is more of the mesh network. So there's more than just the, the single server. It's already decentralized, of course, but you want to be able to share the order book amongst multiple servers as opposed to right now it's decentralized in the sense that you can run it on multiple servers, of course. And then the, the, the atomic swaps are obviously decentralized by their very nature, but uh, there's really for the order book purposes or the, the meeting place the, that uh, will be getting decentralized as well called the mesh network. I think that's pretty exciting. The peer-to-peer uh, -peer mixing as well, because uh, again, uh, when you look at it right now, the meeting place, again, obviously the mixing process itself is very decentralized, but the actual meeting place isn't. And so that will decentralize the, the, the meeting place, so to speak, and uh, put it all throughout the network. We'll probably look at doing uh, something along the lines of doing NFTs properly. By breaking those ASICs, it's going to open it back up again, where we'll have real competition again. The Cake Wallet team was interviewed by Tivra and Phoenix Green about adding Decred to their wallet. In Cake, you're essentially a, a whole complete wallet within the app, whether it's for Decred or Monero or Litecoin or Bitcoin. Even if you have multiple Decred wallets or multiple Bitcoin wallets or multiple Monero wallets within Cake Wallet, they each operate like totally separate wallets, totally separate apps. Um, and the reason we did that is exactly what Justin explained. It's to give a unique experience for each coin rather than just having the same UI, same feature, same everything for each coin. So we realized, I mean, we I guess we were lucky to realize that early on that each coin has different uses, has different experiences, has different kind of user base that may want it. Um, and this is going back to the exchange. I think the exchange was is important because we want people to use Cake as a payment tool. So let's say you're sitting on a bunch of Decred and you want to buy something off of, I don't know, wherever that, and they only take Bitcoin. So you don't have to worry about, you know, first converting. You can actually just use that exchange and to pay seamlessly in whatever the receiver wants to receive. So we wanted this wallet to be used not just something cool you just download and put a bunch of Decred or, or Litecoin or Monero in there and forget about it. We want you to open it every day. We want you to use it. Um, and hopefully that happens for Decred as well. 
Phoenix Green created a tutorial on how to CPU mine Decred. With the mining algorithm change just days away, I'm going to set up my desktop computer to mine Decred. Although I don't expect this to be profitable, it should be interesting to find out how the process works and see if someone like myself can actually participate in the mining process. Set up a new wallet or use an existing one. I'll set up a new wallet by saying no. We now need to sync DCRD and DCR wallet. In the command line, paste the folder address given in the last step, ending with decred DCRD. This will start synchronizing DCRD, which will take a little while. Now both DCRD and DCR wallet are syncing, we'll have to wait before starting the next step. As a side note, this full sync took less than two hours. In the bottom terminal or a new terminal, enter the set generate true command to start mining. But you are now CPU mining DCR. The full guide is available in text on Cyberpunk Times as well, created by Cramble. Phoenix Green created a tutorial on how to buy your first Decred. The simplest route to buy Decred is using the centralized exchange Binance, which currently has two Decred DCR pairs, Bitcoin BTC and Tether USDT. Your first task is to set up Binance and move funds from your bank account to your new Binance account. Once your account has your fiat funds, you'll need to buy either Tether USDT or Bitcoin BTC. Once you've made this conversion, you can then use these funds to buy Decred DCR. After you've bought your Decred, I would recommend moving your DCR to a self-custody wallet, either the Decreditron or a mobile option, especially if you don't intend to sell your new coins. Once again, the best and most secure self-custody wallet for Decred is Decreditron. Although there are other options for getting from fiat to crypto, these do tend to be more risky with lower liquidity and higher associated fees. However, once you have crypto, the options become a lot better, to the point where it's more cost effective and efficient to use a decentralized exchange to move from crypto to crypto than it is to use a centralized exchange. For Decred trades, the best current option is the DCR DEX peer to peer exchange, which I would recommend once you've built up your holdings of coins like Decred, Bitcoin, and Litecoin. On Politea Decred's proposal platform, we have CryptoPower, Golang native desktop and mobile wallet from Draycott. This proposal requests $61,600 in funding paid in Decred to build out and release the CryptoPower wallet. CryptoPower supports different blockchain assets like Litecoin, Bitcoin, and Decred, and will have desktop and mobile versions. The wallet will also support the Decred DEX, which works using atomic swaps. For anyone that used GoDCR, this is a rebranding and extension of that wallet, with some of the same team members. CryptoPower supports various wallet features like privacy mixing, staking, Polite voting, and more. It will even support instant exchange and coin controlled transactions. The team writes that they hope in the future to even include Decred's peer-to-peer -peer communications protocol Bison Relay. The CryptoPower proposal went on to pass with nearly 70% yes votes. You can download and try the wallet out for yourself at CryptoPower.dev. We also have the Cake Wallet integration proposal from Joe Gruff. This proposal requests $80,000 paid in Decred to provide development support for the Cake Wallet app. Cake Wallet is a popular mobile and desktop wallet app that first supported Monero, but is now expanding to other coins like Bitcoin and Litecoin, and now Decred. The Cake Wallet team has similar values to Decred's community, focusing on privacy and self custody. The proposal stresses that no funds are being paid to Cake Wallet for integration. This is just for the work done by Decred developers. They hope to have this work completed in nine months. This proposal failed to hit quorum because the vote ended sooner than expected due to fast blocks being produced because of new hash rate coming online. Joe Gruff says the proposal will be resubmitted. The ODLA content proposal requests $15,000 paid in Decred for two sponsored articles on their website. Odaily is a Chinese language crypto news site and they claim to have daily page views exceeding 200,000. In their proposal they say they will provide support for community push services reaching an audience of at least 1 million views. The articles will be reviewed by Decred community member Dominic. Odaily says they would like to lay the foundation for long-term strategic cooperation between them and Decred. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. To learn more, please check out decred.org. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.